So we we talked a little bit about annuities here. Why don't we go to the uh, the guy who hates annuities the most, Ken Fisher? We have all heard these commercials on TV, so I'm going to actually play the Ken Fisher commercial, anti annuity commercial, and then we'll get Greg's take on each one of his points. We don't sell annuities. I would die and go to hell before I would sell an annuity. Most annuities have nosebleed level fees, don't do what the customer thinks they do, have tremendous tax problems, are hard to get out of once you're in them, and are extremely confusing with a contract that's about that thick. These products are not made to benefit the customer. The real winner is the salesperson. I would die and go to hell before I would sell an annuity. Okay, here's our favorite guy. All right, why don't we go through these just a little bit at a time here, Greg? Uh, Ken Fisher. Real quick, I, I I really don't like Ken Fisher. Can I just <laughs> put shocked. that on record? I I'm really shocked. don't like him. <laughs> All right, now that we have that, he's one of the, the richest way. people in the world, by the way. Just so everybody knows this. And there, if if you dig into you know the holdings, there are some annuities there, so we can talk through that too. All right, annuities have nosebleed fees. Okay, talk to me about. I think you've already talked about that. There are no fees with annuities, are there? There's not. So so. I don't understand exactly what he's saying because a lot of times he speaks in complete and utter nonsense. <laughs> um, you know, he was talking about how this was going to be the greatest earlier this year in 2023. If you recall, remember the article, this is going to be the best bull market yes. since the 60s. He, yes. he also was screaming that. And oh, by the way, we just experienced a, almost a 5% <laughs> loss in August. But I guess that's Ken's bull market. At the end of the day, he charges an obnoxious fee. It's like, I want to say 1.25 or 1.35. I was trying to pull it up um, from uh, smartassets.com. Um, so he, he charges this every year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then has the audacity to say that nudies have fees. Right. And, and when I say this, I was like, let me explain to you guys exactly. No one, you know, we we, we obviously use, we use managed money and, and we use annuities. We use mm -hmm. a little bit of everything. And we use other things. We use, we use everything. Mm -hmm. So the way annuities work is a lot of times um, annuities can have an upfront commission if you sell them. Um, that money does not come out of the client's account. The opposite of Ken Fisher fees, mm -hmm. the opposite of the mutual funds that Ken Fisher uses, those dollars come out of your account. So the, you know, what a CD is, is the best way I can explain to people how annuities work. When a bank writes a CD, they're like, we're going to guarantee 5%. So every year, what happens, Randy? You just get 5%, right? Yeah. You get a coupon. Well, they've already factored in the cost to pay the teller for selling the CD. They've factored in the cost to administer moving the money in and out. They've factored in all those costs and then their profit margin. And they said, you know what? We can still charge 5%. And that's how a CD works. Annuity is no different. The marketing division of the annuity company pays the salespeople that are selling annuities, not coming out of your money. So if annuity right now, we're seeing a lot of annuities that like a CD guarantee 5 or 6%, that's what you get. It's not like 5 or 6% minus an annuity fee. There's no ongoing annuity fees. Now, some people sell riders. It's like, hey, I want a long-term care rider. I want a blah, blah, blah rider. A rider is like adding additional feature on your car. We don't sell riders. We don't like riders. We think they make the annuity not work. But if someone sold a rider, that would be a feature that you add on as a, a plus. But for the you know majority of all annuities, no additional fees, no costs come out of them. What you, what you see is what you get, period. And your money doesn't go backwards because there's no ongoing cost uh, affiliated with it. They've already factored in when they sold whatever they sold. So if so. you had $100,000 and you wanted to buy an annuity, you did, $100,000 goes into that account. But if you had $100,000 and you wanted to buy mutual funds, you're going to see $95,000 went into your account and $5,000 went someplace else. Well, probably 94000 because then there's the 1% fee that goes to Ken Fisher. Ah, yes. So get, me, get this one. Most annuities don't do what the customer thinks they do. What does that mean? I don't know. Like <laughs> annuities are so simple. Yeah, I, you know, the, the insurance company is completely destroying the, you know, annuity companies are destroying the bond market in a good way. They're destroying the managed money because they just keep taking more and more Ken Fisher's money because they're simple and easy. <laughs> People are choosing because I want 5% a year. Okay. And they're tax deferred. And we'll talk about his tax comment either, which is yes. Hilarious. Um, but they're just winning and I don't think he knows what to do. I think that's really what happened mm -hmm. is, is that all you can do is, you know, when you hear a bunch of noise, all you can do is yell louder. 
I think variable annuities, we'd never sell. We're not licensed to sell variable annuities. I hate variable annuities. So if you have a variable annuity, I would agree that people don't know what they're buying. So maybe Ken and I might sort of agree if he's talking about variable annuities. And Greg, you always talked about how an annuity is a tax-favored retirement vehicle, yet he says they have tremendous tax problems. Where's that coming from? I don't know. <laughs> Just another Ken Fisherism. He's okay. probably coming from the same place that said this is going to be a tremendous bull market this year. You know, that, that was his big statement at the beginning of the year. This is going to be a great year to buy securities. But at the end of the day, what makes it so baffling is, you know, non-qualified annuities grow tax deferred. Mm -hmm. I mean, they get preferential tax treatment, which means they, go, they grow tax free until you take money out. So you're getting interest on interest. That's why they're, they're, they're a better investment a lot of times than CDs from a tax perspective because CDs are taxable every year where your your annuities grow tax deferred. Um, so another head scratcher from obviously good old Ken where, you know, I, I love to see what he's going to, how he's going to spin that and break that down. But uh, we, you know, we always say it's a better tax play because you don't have tax. Yeah. Income. So people that don't want to add income to their taxable year, if they're, they're later parts of their earning career. A tax deferred annuity could be a great place to sock some money away until you actually are in a lower income tax bracket. Gotcha. They're hard to get out of once you're in them. Talk to me about that. Oh my gosh. So, you know, again, Ken sells billions of dollars of bonds that have 10 year coupons. So basically, a bond is like you're committing for 10 years to a bond, mm -hmm. just like a CD or, you know, five years, three years, 10 years, whatever it is. So if you want the highest rates, you can buy a one-year, three-year, five-year, seven-year, 10-year in Ohio annuities. Okay. Higher rates, the longer you give them your money. The difference between a bond and a CD is the money's in there for good. Okay. Right? It goes to the fruition. The beautiful part about annuities is you can take 10% out every year. Mm -hmm. You can take 10% out every year. And if you really want access to it, there are plenty of annuities that will give you unlimited access. You can pull it out any time. You just have to sacrifice some of the return. Well, we are in a year right now where we're selling more annuities than any other year in history. All right. So there are a lot of people that are grabbing on to this interest rate bonanza that we've had. And they are they're buying annuities because of it, because they look a lot better. I've got to believe, Greg, that some of the annuity sales that we've seen over the last six, nine months, a year have been people who had annuities five, ten years ago at a lower interest rate and said, I want to get in on something that's got a better rate, and they're trading the old in for the new, and that's exactly opposite of what Ken Fisher is saying. It's 100%. So right now what we're doing, if you're a client of Gold Reserve, you've probably got a phone call from us at some point this summer where we're seeing uh, big bonus products that said, you know what, we know that it takes a little bit, you know, their insurance companies are smart, and they're like, hey, we know that there's some, you know, there could be a, you know, a little bit of a penalty to get out. Why don't we give you a 13% bonus? And then we can also give you the five or six percent interest rate for the next 10 years. And the bonus gets them out of whatever penalty it was that they'd have to pay to get out. And then the bigger interest rate gives them a win-win. And insurance companies are smart. I mean, they're billion dollar companies. They know what they're doing. And we've been seeing a ton of that lately because there's a lot of opportunity to upgrade your annuities mm -hmm. and or upgrade your CDs or whatever interest bearing, you know, instrument you have. Um, unfortunately, bonds don't do that. Mm -hmm. Bonds don't have bonus, you know, like bonds don't work that way. And a lot of times CDs don't work that way. And that's what makes annuities more transferable, better products that are more flexible for most retirees' life occurrences. And in this case, interest rate fluctuations. 